Well, me and Taylor met at UAB during our undergraduate days. We had a statistics class together and we actually got paired up to be partners for a project and we just hit it off from there. My first impression of Taylor was just her infectious laugh, that sweet smile, and she just seemed very caring and uh, very selfless. The way we transitioned from being friends to dating was uh, after the project, we kind of stayed in touch and kept being friends, kept talking, and asked her out on a date and just to see how things would go, and we kind of clicked. We went to the movies went out to eat to Steak and Shake. We had a late movie, and that was really the only thing open. Um, we just kind of sat and talked and clicked, and we had a lot of things in common, and I was just caught by that infectious laugh that she has. So she actually picked it out. She kind of looked online and kind of played around with what she liked and what she didn't like about certain rings, and. Um, she was out shopping one day and went to Zales and found the right one and she came home and told me like hey this is the one um, this is exactly what I'm looking for and I went a couple days later and bought it so the day of the engagement um, we originally had plans to go out to Britton Garrett's house and um, set up their boathouse like where they where the pond and the boathouse is we were gonna set up there and do the sign and set up lights and stuff due to the weather we kind of had to pivot and change plans so we came to the church and we were gonna set up in the pavilion and the wind was just knocking everything over very stressful very uh, nerve-wracking and so we kind of made a third pivot and decided to do it under the awning and it worked out perfect. Everything looked nice and I was super nervous. I knew she was gonna say yes, but still nerve wracking. Um, when I first saw her, of course I got a rush of butterflies, just like the first time I met her. I saw her smiling and uh, I just knew that she was the one. And So who would have thought five years ago that this would be happening. You've been my best friend. You're my rock. I don't know what I'll do without you. I wanna make this forever. I love you so much. I love you more than words can say. You're my best friend. I don't know what I, what I would do without you. So, Taylor, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, uh, first and foremost, I love you. You're my best friend. Uh, I don't know what I would do without you. I can't see myself without you. You've made me a better person. You make me a better man. Uh, you hold me accountable. And you've changed me for the better. You've made me realize what it takes to be a better man, be a better boyfriend. Uh, be a better fiance. You make me want to be a, a good father. I'm, uh, I'm excited for this next stage and this next chapter in our life and I can't wait to see where we go from here and as far as finding our careers and um, finding where we want to end up long term and uh, starting a family together. <laughs> I love you Taylor.